It's officially Unify Gathering 2021 weekend. My name is Nashi. Thank you for choosing to tune into the faction today. Because you can't go to Unify, we're bringing it to you with chats with the bands that played at Unify over the years. This man has played in two bands that have played at Unify. He's the lead singer right now in Reside. His name is Liam. Liam is talking to me directly from a laundry. Thank you for speaking to the faction. <laughs> Thank you for having me, Nashi. I appreciate the opportunity to chat. So you got to play there twice in two bands, but we'll focus on with Reside. Was that a new Was that a new band at the time? Uh, yeah, relatively. We'd only been a band for perhaps a couple of years at this point. Um, it was a Triple J Unearthed competition win for us. Um, it was something that we, that was chosen. Um, so we didn't know until maybe a month out that we were actually going to be playing Unify, and uh, the reaction was pretty. Pretty unreal. It was pretty excitable. Um, yeah, it was the, the the energy in the room when we found out that we were playing uh, a festival that um, some of us had, had been going to for many years prior. Um, yeah, it was like a, a bucket list moment for us. I think. Why such excitement? Why was Unify so important to you and your band? Well, for me, I, I I'd been to Unify for the first time the year before that. So two, uh, I guess it would be two years ago now. Uh, it was the first time I'd ever been to Unify as a as I guess a punter or a <laughs> patron. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, um, I I found it to be a really fun camping festival. I thought the community aspect of it was something really special, something really unique to a lot of festivals that I had um, gotten to experience prior. Um, and I know for, for Dylan, our drummer, he'd been pretty much every year. Um, and so getting to play, you know, and watching, you know, a lot of bands that you admire on the main stage is and getting to sort of be in those shoes um, sort of spiritually is, is pretty is, was, is pretty surreal moment, I suppose. So, um, yeah, no, it was, it was a lot of excitement in the room. Um, yeah, it was good. Can you tell me more about that Tarwin Lower community experience? Yeah, for sure. I mean, the way that they've got the camps set up, um, I mean, even as an artist, you, you, you kind of have the choice. You can either, you know, segregate yourself off and, and hang out in um, artist areas or book Airbnbs off-site, or you can, you know, actually camp with um, the, the rest of the, 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 the festival, essentially. Um, and so you can be really in amongst it. I mean, this Unify especially, like, has a history with having, like, pretty um, unexpected weather. And, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I guess that bond, that bonding experience of you know being being in the wet and the cold um, in some on some occasions is you know it's 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 a unifying experience, no pun intended. So, what compelled you that year or those few years before you played to go to Unify? Was it somebody on the lineup? Yeah, I mean, so the year the year that I I did go as a as a punter, I. Um, I went to see um, one of my favourite bands who I've seen multiple, multiple times. Um, it's, it's Carnival. They played um, They played on the main stage uh, a couple of years ago. And that was uh, one of the first times they've played in actually a, a couple of years. They, they've kind of had a bit of a downtime as they were working on their new material. But, um, yeah, it was just a, a long list of uh, artists here. I think Ocean Grove played that uh, that year. It was Carnival. Uh there was trophy eyes. There was, um, I, I mean, the list. The list goes on. But um, this is like it's a good, it's a good heavy fest. It's a, a really great heavy festival. Um, and I think that lineup that year just really just yeah. I, I thought, well, if there's ever going to be a year to go, this is the one. So. Yeah. Now, you made the mistake earlier of telling me via text that you're in the studio. Does that mean yeah. that we have some new music from Reside coming out in 2021? <laughs> I feel like it should it should be somewhat expected that we're we've been spending the good part of the last twelve months being uh, certainly a lot more creative um, than like playing live music. So yeah, you should uh, should be expecting some a, a new a new release. Uh, actually, we've got another uh, another little uh, EP that we're going to chuck in before um, the, the major release that we're planning on this year. Um, that hopefully will be coming out in the next couple months, maybe next few weeks. Some new music. Some new music is definitely on the way. <laughs> Speaking with Liam, the lead singer from Reside, reminiscing some of his moments or his memories as a patron and as a performer at Unify over the years. Liam, thank you for speaking to the faction today. All the best with the release for 2021. Thank you very much.
much for having me.